How can banks make small balance savings accounts viable? That's a big challenge a program in Africa aims to tackle. This is Exchange, WSBI's News Roundup. A partnership between WSBI and MasterCard Foundation is moving forward to help boost financial access and economic development in Africa. Called Making Small Scale Savings Work, it will test and apply new business models. Those business models will be based on price analysis targeted on low-income unbanked segments to try to lower account dormancy and lack of activity by bank customers. Three existing WSBI partner banks will take part. Banks from Kenya, Morocco, and Uganda look to reach scale with their low balance accounts and do it in a sustained way. Four new West African partner banks are foreseen to take part too. Two banks have recently signed MOUs for projects WSBI will support. Albright Bank in Morocco is launching a project to digitize government-to-person payments and build out a mobile payment system. That system will cover the whole e-payments value chain for individual customers, traders, and suppliers. Paul's Bank in Kenya has a project that arms staff with a high-tech bank in a bag to reach customers better in remote areas. Both efforts aim to show the business case of small-scale savings. Postbank aims to onboard 5,000 groups and have 67,000 new accounts active by the project end date in 2020. Albarid Bank aims to reach 250,000 new customers across the e-payments value chain and from digital G2P payments. At least half will open a savings account. The work matters because sustained access to and use of savings mechanisms help lift people's well-being. And that's a good thing. Do you have a saving story to tell? Share it in the YouTube comment box.